Hi guys! So today I wanted to do a video that's been requested by a couple people. Um, I want to do a review of some embroidery threads that aren't DMC. I'm going to compare them to DMC because that's what I know. But I have three different brands that you can find at um, a bunch of different craft stores and Walmart. So. Um, I wanted to go over each one and then go through and compare each one and like show you as I'm stitching the quality of it and what I think of it. So um, DMC is mainly what I always use and it's mainly just because if you live in the United States you know that that is the most readily available everywhere. Like you can get DMC at Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. Uh, AC more if that's still a thing and you can also order it on Amazon or on their actual online website um, it's a company that's been around for a really long time and the reason that I use it as well is because they have over 500 colors and for my pet portraits I need like every single shade possible so that makes it really nice for me um, to have that option so that's why I use DMC. I just wanted to kind of preface that by saying that. First, I just wanted to kind of like briefly go over all of the different brands that I'm gonna be comparing. And I did a little bit of research to kind of lay out the options for each and the price point for each. So the first brand that I got was the one that was requested by one of you guys. And it is the Artiste brand that you can find at Hobby Lobby. And I got the 36 count popular colors and they're they're like pretty much just solid like saturated colors and i got this for i'm looking at the package 5.99 for 36 of them these are six all of the ones that i'm going to be showing you today are six strand um 100 cotton floss so for the artiste brand um i did some research and you can also find a 105 count for $16.99 of this floss. And it looks like they have a pretty good variety of shades and uh, of each color. So I think that I couldn't find if there was like a number that they could put on it, like how many colors they have. But I did see that they the most that they sell in a pack is 105. And I would say $16.99 for a pack of 105 is like really affordable. Um, the kinds of floss that they have, um, I think this brand is probably going to have the most options besides DMC. The types of thread that they have are um, the six strand, which is what I have. They have a variegated um, floss as well. They have the pearl cotton, which is like the braided cotton that doesn't come apart. And they also have a like satin finish one that's kind of like a little bit more shimmery um, and that would be comparable to another one that DMC has that's also kind of a satin finish so those are all of the different options you have for this brand from what I, my research is and from what I've seen at uh, Hobby Lobby so the next brand that I have is this friendship thread I have like a bunch of these but I just grabbed like a handful to show you I've had these for a long time and I've used them here and there. You can find this at Walmart and these are definitely very cheap. Um, for 100 count, you can get it for $15.99 and they have a bunch of different like super saturated colors, pastel colors. Um, it looks like they have a pretty good amount of shades of each color. And the only option you have for that, from what I can tell, is the six strand cotton. That's all I can find online. Um, the third and final brand that I wanted to compare to the DMC thread is the um, Loops and Threads brand. And I unfortunately only have black and white for this, but I have done some research and I'll kind of go over everything like color-wise that they have. But um, these are the two, like the black and white, nothing special but um they are available at michael's that is like michael's brand um craft supplies and they have a 36 count um of like a bunch of different colors for 4.99 which is like really really cheap 
and they also have 105 count for $17.99. And naturally, like all of these other ones, I couldn't find the maximum colors they have because it looks like they have two different packs of the 105 counts. But I don't know if those are like two separate packs entirely or if there's like some different colors mixed in that are the same in both packs. So I'm not entirely sure how many colors they have, but it did look like they had a wide variety of colors and shades for each color. Um, and the kind of um, floss that they have, from what I can tell, is just the six strand and some variegated floss. The final floss that I have that I'm gonna be comparing to everything is the DMC thread, which is the kind that I normally use. Um, these are my go-to and I just wanted to read off to you, sorry, I have like notes in my lap that I've been referencing, <laughs> but um, these are the kinds of thread that you can find and I think there may be a few more than what I'm like reading out. They have like a few that are kind of similar to others. So these are the ones that are like distinctly different from one another. They have the Etole floss, which I did go over, I reviewed in a previous video and I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch it. I compared a couple of different of these kinds of threads. That one is basically six strand floss, but it has like glittery thread mixed in, which is pretty cool. Um, they have variegated floss. They have six strand floss. They have the pearl cotton. They have a light effects one, which is a polyester um, thread that's like very glittery looking. They have the Moulin Satin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's French. Um, and that one is comparable to the Artiste Satin. And it's it's a cot, or I think it's like rayon. It's very, it's kind of slippery and it's shimmery. It's very, very vibrant. Um, and those are like the main ones that they have. So DMC out of all four of these has the most options for like styles of thread. They also have the most colors. They have about 500 colors now, I think, and they keep releasing more. So um, definitely a wide variety of things that you can use. The one thing about this brand too is that they they are kind of a steep price. So you can get like a 36 count of their popular colors for $24.99, which is a lot more, significantly more than these other brands. Um, and I think at like, Joann's and Michael's, for the most part, the most popular, or not the most popular, but all the colors you can buy like singularly. And I think it's like 56 cents um, a strand. But if you go to Joann's, you can get a coupon. They always have crazy coupons. So if you go to Joann's, definitely use your coupons because you can definitely save a good chunk of change. It's probably still going to cost you a little bit more than some of these other threads, but I think it's I personally think it's worth it, um, but we're gonna review these and maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> so um, now I wanted to go ahead and stitch each one of these and just kind of tell you what I think of each of them. And then I'm going to rinse off some fabric with the stitches on them and see if any of them fade or bleed or anything. And then I'll come back here. All right, let's go. Hey guys, so I decided to pick out a blue, a red and I, a black to because i feel like those colors will be the easiest to see on screen and also i wanted to kind of test to see if any of them faded or if any of them um bleed at all so i figured those would probably be like the most at high risk for any of those problems so i went ahead and just marked each one for each of the brands to with a sharpie so that this will stay and we can see at the end what how they do but I went ahead and just stitched the DMC thread because I already know what that's like. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and go over um, each one. So I'm gonna put these in the order they need to be in. So, all right. The first thing I'm going to do is this friendship thread. So this thread compared to the others, I'm gonna kind of like line them up. They're a little bit different shade of blue, but I think they're pretty similar. So I figured it'd be best to do it this way. The DMC thread is most definitely a little bit more um, shimmery. The other two are a little bit more matte. I would say that the friendship thread is the most matte out of all of them. And it's also the coarsest out of all of them texture wise. Um, the DMC would be smoother. 
and then the um, artiste thread is it's like probably right in the middle um, and I would say it's also in the middle like shimmery wise as well um, and then also I don't have a color of this one but the loops and threads um, is also I would say comparable to the artiste brand texture and like how shimmery it is I'm gonna go ahead and just take out a single strand here so you can see I had a tail and now I can't find it <laughs> here it goes okay so it feels like it's not going to break or anything it's not like super fragile and there's six strands here they don't look like they're like fraying at the ends or anything and it was easy to separate this single strand seems pretty thin and it's super easy to break so let's try the um, artiste and see what that's like. So again, not gonna break when it's all six strands. And it looks like the thread is wound together pretty nicely. It separates easy. And this strand is pretty thin but I think they're all a little bit thin. It's pretty easy to break. And then just to compare and kind of have a control, cause I do know how this is. This is the DMC, definitely not gonna break. And it's got a nice um, texture to it. And that is a single strand. This one's a little bit harder to break. Um, I would say the easiest out of all of them was the Friendship brand. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and embroider with this um, Friendship. So I need to be here. I'm like doing the wrong thing. I can kind of tell, honestly, how rough this thread is. Like it's not hard to embroider with, but it just doesn't feel as smooth going in and out of the fabric as the DMC does. Once I embroider it though, it doesn't look that bad. Like presentation wise, it's pretty vibrant. And I think it's like if you were to show me both of these, I don't think I could point out which one was DMC and which one was the friendship thread. So minus it being a little bit more brittle if you're only using a few strands of it, it looks pretty nice on the fabric. So next up, I'm gonna embroider the Artiste brand. This one does feel a little bit smoother. I don't feel like the fibers catching in the fabric like I did with the friendship one. So I cannot tell the difference at all between the artiste and the friendship thread. If I'm looking like super hard, I think the DMC is a little bit more shimmery, but between those two, I cannot tell the difference at all. All right, so moving on, I just wanted to show you guys a lineup of the black thread and I don't really know how well this is gonna transfer on um, camera. <laughs> um, I mean, if I'm being honest, I cannot tell the difference at all when I'm like lining these up, but it's also black. So I feel like it's such a dark color that you're probably not gonna see much of a difference. Um, and just like the other ones, I would say 
these are about the same. I don't have the friendship threads in this color, but I was going to embroider um, the DMC Artiste and Loops and Threads side by side so you can see it. And then um, I'll pick out like a darker color of the friendship thread just to kind of like test it out as well. All right, so here's the Loops and Threads one. It feels pretty nice to embroider. Um, nothing crazy. And, oh yeah, I need to show you as well. Oop. It separates pretty easy. And let's see, I'm gonna take a piece of this off here and just kind of test it out and see. It looks like it's about the same weight and it's pretty easy to break um but keep in perspective that this is like a single tiny strand of cotton and all of them are relatively easy to break by hand so i wouldn't say there's like a significant dif difference really besides the friendship thread that's that's pretty brittle i like broke it when i was trying to separate it out earlier all right, so now that you've seen all of the different ones, I'm gonna go ahead and just embroider the rest of the colors on here and rinse this off and let it dry. And then I'll come back once it's dry and show you guys the results. So I let this dry overnight and it's the next day and I am pretty surprised by the results. Um, I think what you're seeing, there's a little bit of a shadow from the knots on the back, but this did not bleed whatsoever. Um, the only change that I could see was that, I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty subtle, but the artiste brand and the friendship thread is a little bit fuzzy i basically just ran water over this and let it air dry um, because even in my opinion at least if you're gonna embroider on clothes i would say do like a gentle wash in the washer and then air dry it like i wouldn't recommend ever drying anything with embroidery on it because it could mess up the threads so i didn't do anything crazy to test this out besides just like run water over it and kind of rub it a little bit to see if the colors would fade or if um, the um, colors would bleed at all. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised about all this. Um, this is dark blue. I stitched that um, dark blue since I didn't have black and all of the colors look the exact same. So I would say that for the most part, these are pretty color fast, um, which is really cool. I just wanted, wanted to like pop in here and let you guys know um, the 36 pack that I bought was the smallest that I could buy, but I'm definitely planning on using it for some embroidery tutorials. So um, yeah, you'll definitely see in the future. I just didn't want to be wasteful and just buy it for like no reason. So I'm gonna definitely find something to use it with. Hey, so I just wanted to pop in and tell you my thoughts on all of these different um, thread brands. I was honestly very surprised at all of them um, for like, they don't really seem like they're that much different than DMC thread. Um, the only one that's like the worst quality I think would be the friendship thread, which is like, you can, the, you can get that at Walmart. I think that's kind of more of like a craft thread anyways. Like I, I mean, you can use it for embroidery, but from what I remember, like I used to do like macrame bracelets in like the 90s and I feel like that's like the thread I used because you don't really separate it out or anything. And when you separate that thread out, it just seems kind of brittle and like it fuzzed a lot when I washed it. But the other, the loops and the threads and the Artiste brand, they were a little bit fuzzy, but I mean, the thread seemed comparable to DMC. It's like not as nice, like it's not as smooth and it's, 
not as like vibrant i don't know how else to describe it it's not as like shiny looking um but it's very very similar like when i did the satin stitches for all of those i really couldn't tell the difference um so i don't have like a super definitive like sorry i don't have the color for the loops and the threads one like i only had the black thread for like the durability of that thread it seems comparable to the artiste brand like 100 percent. i don't i can't really speak to um if like an actual color would bleed but the black didn't bleed and i feel like that would be like the first one probably because it's such a saturated color um so i think that if you're just starting out with embroidery and you want to get like a bunch of thread colors at once and you're not trying to spend a bunch of money i think it's totally like worth it to just buy like the loops and threads and the artiste brand Either one of those I think are really good if you're not trying to spend a bunch of money on the DMC thread. Um, that being said, personally, I'm sticking to DMC because I have all of my thread like organized. Um, here, let me show you. So I have, I don't know if I can like hold this up for you to see, but I have, well, it's, it's not entirely organized because I have some colors I was working with, but I have this whole container full of DMC thread. I probably have almost all the colors. I don't, I wouldn't say I have all of them, but I, I'm pretty close. Um, I got, I initially got a bunch of this thread from a relative um, and you know, I had bought like random bits of the thread, but I got like a big box of it that was already organized by number. The other thing that I really like about DMC is that it has a color card which comes in handy, especially if you're looking for a particular color for like a pet portrait. Um, they have a color card so you can like pick out what color you need for something. Um, and it makes it easier to organize um, because the numbers aren't really in order all the time. So I like to have mine organized by like shades and like colors. That way it's easier for me to find the color I need when I do my pet portraits. And like I've said previously, like the selection of colors from DMC is like more than any other brand that I've tested today. So that's why I'm gonna stick with it. But if it were me and I was just going to be like practicing embroidery or making embroidery that's more like, you you have a more limited color palette and you don't have to have all those um, different shades of colors, I would definitely buy the Loops and Threads brand or the Artiste brand. Um, yeah, I think for what they are, they're good quality and you save a little bit of money and um, yeah. Uh, I hope this helped and I really enjoyed doing it. This is the first time I've actually like sat down to actually compare them. Like I've used them before, but I haven't like straight up compared them to DMC thread and like to one another. So I'm very surprised that like nothing bled at all um, and the colors didn't fade at all. Um, so that's cool. And if you guys like this kind of video and there's another kind of thread, I know there's been a few recommendations for like DMC thread that I could test out just to review. And also there's a couple other brands that I have found online that I think are supposed to be pretty nice. So I think I might order some of that thread and just see what it's like. Um, Cause I'm always, I always like to see like what other products are out there and if it's helpful for you guys, I'm glad to do it. So let me know if there's like a particular brand that you've seen in the store or that maybe is like more popular in a certain area. If I can order it and it's affordable, then um, I'm willing to test it out. So yeah, um, let me know how you liked this and hope you guys take care. Bye.